Out with the old and in with the new. The 6000 watt Ames inverter served me really well and it could run my whole house but not everything at the same time. So I'm going to install a larger inverter. <laughs> And my old inverter worked fine, but it was 6,000 watts, so I couldn't run everything at the same time. Today, I'm installing a pair of 6,000 watts that will work together for a combined output of 12,000 watts. Ha! I'm doubling my output. <laughs> Before I brought this in, I put a couple of screws down so that when I set this, it's level. And I had made a mark over on the left side, so I just adjusted it there. Uh, now this is where I'll put the two inverters up. This is a half inch thick layer of cement board. It's made for a tile backer. You would tile on top of this. But this is a non-combustible surface because it's made out of cement. Five feet wide, three feet tall. I'm currently adjusting these brackets kind of left and right and I'm measuring them uh, because there's a stud every 24 inches on center in this garage and these <laughs> inverters are very heavy, about 140 pounds each. So I'd like to be able to grab the studs. So I marked where the studs line up on these brackets. I drilled a couple of small holes here and those are for the structural screws and they line directly up with the studs. Now I'm going to throw in more screws than this that'll actually go into the OSB, but I wanted at least two into the structural stud. So I went ahead and drilled a pilot hole in the stud for each mounting bracket. Originally I was going to mount the inverters directly to the OSB. I was not going to have any cement board. But then I saw this note in the owner's manual that said to attach the inverters to non-combustible surface. So for $14, I bought the cement board from my local Home Depot and attached it with some screws. Not a big deal, and I think it looks nice in the end. I'm adding some additional screws, but this time they only have to go through the half inch cement board and then into the three quarter inch OSB. So I have some one and a half inch screws and I'm using some fender washers because these slots that SMA has are very large. So each one now has five screws. Now it's time to carry over those inverters and they are heavy suckers. I think they're 130 or 140 pounds each. There we go. All right, it's resting on the shelf. Here we go. Originally these inverters sold for $5,000 each, which would have been $10,000 for the pair. But there are some really good deals on eBay right now. I was able to buy the pair shipped to my door for $2,400. Now these are US inverters. They're putting out 120 volts each. Next we have a bunch of these tiny little cap screws and lock washers. These go on the back of the inverter and screw the inverter to that mounting flange. I did put an affiliate link in the description below. If you use that, I'll get a kickback from eBay and that just helps out the channel. I would like to thank Peter from DIY Powerwall's Facebook group. He is the one who actually uh, let us all know about this great deal and it's thanks to him that I found out about it and I bought the inverters. If you guys are interested in building your own DIY Powerwalls and you're not part of that Facebook group, seriously consider joining. It's a really nice community of folks. 
just a six millimeter Allen wrench, or some people call it a hex key. One of the interesting design features about how they built this is the way that it's cooled. The air filters, and that's where it gets sucked in and there's fans back there. You can actually see a little bit of damage here where it was shipped and uh, got banged up. But I did test the inverter and it does work. The air is blown up past the transformer which is in the back and comes out right here. And these are the cooling fins. But as part of the cast mold are these guys. These are the handles. Once we're done with the handles, <laughs> which we are now, they send these plastic covers that can snap over it just like that man all right let's just uh step back and admire this finally got the new inverters up they sure do take up a lot more real estate than the other Ames inverter that i had just right there wow these guys are really big but each one is 6000 watts which was the same as the Ames inverter so these these things are monsters, so if you do get them, just realize that they take up a lot of real estate. You have to maintain uh, 12 inches uh, to all sides, uh, 20 inches from the bottom. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. If you enjoy the videos, please like, subscribe, comment, share, and check out the links in the description below. That really does help out the channel. So thank you all very much for watching.